Hello and welcome to Kentucky Brew Reviews. I'm Radar. Special K, and tonight we're doing some Jose Cuervo. It's, we've never done regular Jose Cuervo on the show. Um, I couldn't bring myself to start out with that one. Okay. So we're doing the Jose Cuervo traditional. Um, this is tequila plata. Start out. We have a whole shelf of tequila back there. Well, I'm talking about starting out with the Jose line. Oh, I got you. Okay. So if we're going to start go with, with the with the expensive Jose. So this is yeah, twenty about twenty bucks for a bottle. It's like two dollars more than traditional Jose Cuervo. Mm -hmm. So um, we're gonna give her a try and see if it's any good. A lot of people say it's substantially better than the regular Jose Cuervo. It has a cork. I mean, substantially better than regular Jose Cuervo is not a huge bar. Right. To be fair. A lot of people like it. But it does have a synthetic cork, which is nice. Yeah. I dig bottles with corks. Don't have anything against twist caps, but corks are just classier. It's a good looking bottle. I like it. Oh, um, spicy. I don't smell anything I don't like no, immediately. No, it has in here. a little bit of that charcoaly miss on the back end, and not not charcoaliness from like the agave. It's it's charcoaliness from like cheaper spirits that you mm -hmm. get sometimes. Otherwise, it's just agave in there. Tequila. It's kind of peppery. It's got kind of like a spicy pepper thing happening. It burns the ass. It's 40% alcohol by volume, that's for sure. I think Ooh. the alcohol actually lends itself a little bit to the to the spiciness. Well, let's see if there's in this glass. Eh, it's pretty clear. Smooth. <clears throat> That's Cuervo. Oh yeah. Cuervo has a distinct flavor. No matter what Cuervo you get, kind of ashy. Yeah. Like kind of kind of like old dead fire ashiness. Yeah, it has some pepperiness to it, which is nice. It starts out nice, and then mm -hmm. it ends not so nice. It's kind of rough. It's a little abrasive. It's got some decent spice for. to it. It's a little abrasive on the back end. Mm. Uh, it seems to me like this would be a pretty good uh, mixing tequila. Mm. As far as like sipping or taking shots of, mm, not so much. Some uh, some pineapple juice, some grenadine. It needs any, any kind of citrus. It needs something. Because it's got a little bit of a bitter, uh, uh, like a bitter bitterness up front, and it's probably coming from the ashiness, but it's it's a little bit unpleasant. Mm. But it's not awful. Like it's not the worst tequila I've ever had. Yeah, this is on. Um, and we're talking. I'm talking. This doesn't bad even about make it. the bottom ten list on no. the worst tequilas I've ever had. No, it's not awful um, uh, for the price. I think it's fair. Mm -hmm. Also, so yeah. it was what twenty bucks. Something yeah, like I'm thinking this is a five tequila. That's where I'm going with it. I can live with that five, yeah. I think, I, I really do think that the spiciness sort of rescues the ashiness a little bit. Yeah, it helps. It, it saves you a little bit from that. But like I said, it's a little abrasive. So the best thing to go with tequila is citrus. Strong citrus. So I have some orange juice here with pulp, of course. Oh, pulp. So we're going to go a little bit of orange juice. I'm going to go 50-50. Probably you two, you're going to want 50-50 on that. Yeah, I'm good with 50-50. Oh, more there. <laughs> oh, I need a little bit more. Yeah, I need a little more. Ah. That's tequila and orange juice. <laughs> it sure is. That's, that's uh, exactly what that smells like. <laughs> it comes off as a little more agave for it. It takes away any of the um, roughness that it had to be. Yeah, a lot, of that, a lot of that spiciness is now replaced with citrusiness. All right, let's hit it. And I'm not mad about it. And tequila and orange juice is a real drink, by the way, just for the people at home that don't think it is. Of course it is. Look at that. We, we made it just now. That's actually really good now. That's it's definitely still, consumable. It still has that Jose, it's, the Cuervo-ness. Oh, yeah. It has the Cuervo-ness to it still, though. It's it's consumable, though. I can't... I wouldn't be able to drink that straight. I couldn't sit and, like, relax and drink that shot, straight. A shot would be... It would be an experience. If I was gonna sip that, I would have to have some like some big problems in my life. <laughs> but keep in mind, like we give it a five, which is it's average. It, it's it's doable, and with as a mixer, uh, I think it brings it up to a solid, solid six. Above Actually, average you know as a what? mixer. Uh, as far as cheap tequila goes, I'm gonna give it a. Uh, I'm gonna give it that half point for the price. 
fair. I'm going to give it a six and a half. I was giving it the half point with it, too. Oh, yeah? <laughs> to the six, but... <laughs> yeah, um... As long as you have some song, strong citrus, I think this would do a good with margaritas. Um, or... Of the sex on the beach. Yeah, any kind of uh, pineapple juice, like you mentioned. Any kind of citrus, a little lime. It's, uh, it's my wife's drink. Whenever whenever she orders a tequila, tequila drink, sunrise. sex on the beach. My wife... Oh, wait, no, that's right. It's a tequila sunrise. That's pineapple juice and grenadine. Mm. Isn't that what that is? Uh, maybe. Whatever the pineapple juice and grenadine drink is. I have cans of pineapple juice. I have a bottle of grenadine. And I can make a decent drink. It's so distinctive. There's su such a distinct cuervoiness. That is going to be the description. Cuervoiness? Cuervoiness. That I have a lot of experience from Cuervo for when I was very young. <laughs> very young. When I was very young into drinking. So when I turned 21, I didn't know anything about tequila. Mm -hmm. My family always drank Cuervo, so I drank Cuervo. So I just thought tequila was supposed to taste like... Dirty dishwater? Yes. <laughs> Until I had some... I had Patron, and I'm like, wow, this is good. And then I had... And then I was like, Patron was good, but then I had Cabo and Don Julio and all those other ones. And so here, here's what you got to do. This is a great drinking game. You have, you have a tray, six shot glasses, and five friends. One of the shots is Jose Cuervo. Just regular, clear Jose Cuervo. One of them is Patron. The rest of it's water. <laughs> Yeah, that, that's going to be something we do on a live stream, so it sounds like. <laughs> would, you, would you recommend this beverage? Would you recommend the Ho Jose Cuervo tradition? For the price, yeah. If you can get this for under 20 bucks, yeah, go ahead and go ahead and pull the trigger on it. It makes a good mixed drink. If you're looking for a tequila, like a uh, margarita maker, sure. If you're looking for a shot taker, um, not so much. Yeah, if you want to, if you want to shoot tequila. You're gonna to need to spend more money. Yeah, like thirty-five minimum for shooting tequila. Mm, yeah, I would not get you some Don Julio. This would be a burninating. It would burninate the countryside <laughs> for sure. All right, well that's been our episode. If you'd like to see anything else on the channel, you can leave a comment down below. I'm Special K. I'm Radar. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. watching.